Happy Restaurant Week, Hillsboro, and welcome to the latest episode of News Around Town. I'm Susanna Karras, your Economic and Business Development Director and host for today's episode. Check out the banner behind me, showcasing our seventh annual Hillsboro Restaurant Week. This is a great opportunity to support Hillsboro businesses, visit a new restaurant, or show your loyalty to one of your favorite spots. What's happening in Hillsboro this week? Let's take a look. At the September 24th Township Committee meeting, Mayor Britting provided updates on his latest activities, provided information about early voting, and also shared important information from the building department. I had the opportunity to, um, to attend a ribbon cutting with Deputy Mayor Ciccarelli and also the uh, superintendent, Mr. Volpe, was there as well too, um, for a, uh, a new, a reopening of the school playground. Playground has been expanded to include equipment specifically designed to accommodate students with special needs, making a more inclusive and accessible space for all children. The ribbon cutting ceremony on September 13th brought together school staff and students, local officials and community members to celebrate this significant milestone. The expanded inclusive playground is uh, sensory fr friendly and accessible to all and now features specialized equipment such as uh, uh, a sensory play, uh, play panels, a sensory wave climber, a merry-go-wall and a climbing space a calming space, excuse me, ensuring that all children of, uh, with all, all different types of abilities can enjoy uh, outdoor play in a safe and supportive environment. Hillsborough Township owner, homeowners can save themselves a trip to the municipal building uh, with a new online permitting that, uh, with a, uh, and a plan review system. The new system, which is accessed through the SDL portal, which is the portal that we use within the township, on the township website, will streamline the building permit process by cutting down on paper usage and storage. The new process will also decrease office visits and phone calls and save time by offering online payments. The new technology will launch on October 9th, 2024. Um, Hillsborough Township is encouraging residents to take advantage of early voting to reduce the amount of time spent waiting in line on election day. So all five committee members, uh, including uh, Deputy Mayor Ciccarelli, who's not here tonight, all attended um, National Night Out. Chiefs in the back of the room, big boss of the police in Hillsborough Township. Um, they do an absolutely wonderful job connecting with the community, making sure the community understands how much they are um, engaged and, and willing to, to reach out to make sure people understand you know, their, their, um, their focus in the community. And I just can't, can't thank you enough for how well of a job you guys do. And that was a terrific event. You connected so many people to the community. And I think you just show always what good looks like. So thanks for doing what you're doing. Committee Woman Hand shared her latest activities as well as provided updates from recreation and social services. This past Saturday, we had a Bagging for Hunger event. I was joined by Mayor Breeding, Committee Men Lapani and I. Um, we had a wonderful time trying, We I thought we did a nice job bagging the groceries. I don't think we crushed eggs or bread or anything um, critical. Uh, I thought we did a nice job, but um, the whole point was to try to raise awareness around hunger and to um, also raise donations. This was at our local shop, right? And um, we think it was a pretty well attended event. From the recreation department is brewing up, you're gonna love this, brewing up a cauldron of Halloween fun. This year, the spectacular event is for everyone. Check out the recreation department website and the mayor's e-news to learn more about these wickedly fun programs. Winter basketball is now open. Definitely um, sign up your third through 12th graders. This is for boys and girls. Coaches are also needed um, at every level. So if you're signing your child up, please consider um, volunteering to coach. From social services, they would like to acknowledge the following groups for their generous donations to the Community Assistance Can Food Pantry. Girl Scout Troop 60640 for the generous donation of school supplies and other items for back to school. We had Royce Brooks Christmas in July fundraiser and Girl Scout Service Unit 72, again for their generous donation of personal care items. And again, for a list of um, items in need, please look at our e news tomorrow. Committee Men Lapani provided updates from the administration office, tax assessor's office, planning and zoning, department. Department of Public Works and Sustainability. He also updated us on Hillsborough Millstone Municipal Alliance, as well as provided updates on road paving projects. Regarding the general election, so the deadline to register to vote is October 15th. So if you want to register to vote, you need to fill out the application and make sure it's submitted by October 15th. The deadline to apply for mail-in ballots is October 29th. Sample ballots will be mailed to all homes on the week of October 23rd. The mail-in drop box in front of the municipal building is open now and accepting ballots through election day, which is November 5th. 
Early voting here at Municipal Building begins on October 26th. Our fourth annual Scarecrow Festival uh, begins next week, located in front of the Municipal Building. The festival runs through October. Be sure to drop by and visit and cast a vote for your favorite. Details can be found on our website. From our tax assessor's office, we'll begin residential inspections as part of our annual reassessment program in the northeast section of town. Inspectors drive a township marked vehicle and carry a township ID badge. Inspectors will leave a note if no one is home so residents can make a call to make an appointment. The economic and business development part is hiring a full-time administrative assistant. See the complete job listing under human resources on the Hillsborough Township website in tomorrow's and mayor's e-news. From our planning and zoning department, the last day to participate in the master plan survey is Sunday, October 6th at 11.59 p.m. So if you're a night owl, you got till 11.59 to hit that button to get your uh, survey uh, in. Look for a link on the Township website and the Mayor's e-news and let your voice help shape the future. Uh, from our public works, parts of town are getting uh, asphalt paving systems is continuing its micro surfacing operation this week as part of our payment preservation program in the Anka Drive area. Signage is posted in the areas where these procedures are scheduled. Residents will, are urged to follow the contractor's request for parking during the work hours and operations. From our sustainability, Hillsborough is proud to announce that the township has been certified at the highest level of sustainable Jersey program for the 10th straight year. This year, we're approved for a record-breaking 830 points from a total of 71 actions. Additionally, the township was awarded the first ever gold star in Somerset County and the fifth in the entire state. Time is running out to apply for the grant through the Hillsborough Rewards Program. Applications are available in the printable forms section of the administration clerk page when picked up the administrative office for any township-based nonprofit, senior, or youth organization to apply for grants for up to $2,000. Completed certifications must be submitted to the administration's office by Friday, 20, September 27th to be considered eligible funding grant. The Municipal Alliance Adopt a Highway. Thank you to everyone who volunteered for the April 2024 Adopt a Highway cleanup, which included Hillsborough Mayor Robert Britting, Deputy Mayor John Ciccarelli, the HT Township Police Department, PBA Local 205, the Hillsborough High School Boys Soccer, the Hillsborough High School Wrestling, and the various Hillsborough community members. There are over 30 volunteers, which set a record that we will hope to break again. Please join the Hillsborough Municipal Alliance Adopt a Highway. Uh, again for its second cleanup day of 2024, which will be on Sunday, October 27th. Phase one of the Capitol Road paving, which is our, our actual paving program, will be completed by September 27th. That's the end of this week. Um, the roads that will be completed are Fairfield Lane, Hartford Place, Hunt Club Road, Stone Wayne Street, and Valinor Road are fully repaved. And there is more to come. Committee Woman Payne provided updates from the Police Department, Municipal Court, and updates of interest to Hillsborough veterans. From the police, the DEA National Take Back Day is declared for Saturday, October 26th. National Take Back Day, a day to dispose of unneeded medications anonymously and at no cost. In addition to our normal red collection box outside of the PD, uh, there's gonna be a medication drop-off container here in the municipal building. The program will run from 10 a.m. until until 2 p.m. drop off is confidential and anonymous again. Please do not drop off sharps or liquids. Coffee with the Cops is back. So join the police for uh, Wednesday, October 16th from 4 to 6 p.m. for coffee and conversation um, at the Starbucks in town. Um, municipal Court, the Violations Bureau schedule shows payable amounts for common traffic violations where a court appearance isn't required. The Violations Bureau schedule is now available on the Municipal Port page on the Township website, and you can look for that link in tomorrow's e-news. Uh, we held our third successful uh, veteran information session. We had Christina Liu from the county's Office on Aging and Disability Services come to speak to our veteran community about some really great points and services offered to the count, uh, through the county and the partnerships that they have, for instance, with the Pluckman Medical uh, Equipment Ministry. Did you know that you can borrow free medical equipment that you may need for yourself or a loved one, as long as you may need it for, um, and then can return it 
when you're done completely free. All information shared from her visit is going to be updated on our veteran uh, webpage, the next event for the veterans. It's going to be an information fair taking place on December 14th in the multi-purpose room right across the hall. Um, Friday, September 30th, we held a beautiful ceremony for those missing in action and captured prisoners of war. Nearly 81,000 American service members remain missing after having served in World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam War, and other conflicts involving the U.S., and they will never be forgotten. The committee members attended the John Baselon Parade over the weekend. Um, John Baselon is the only enlisted Marine to be awarded both the Congressional Medal of Honor and the Navy Cross. He returned to action after being presented with the Medal of Honor and sadly was killed in action. This annual parade commemorates his honor. On Thursday, October 10th, from 3 to 6 p.m., the Commissioner Chanel Robinson uh, she's an Air Force veteran, and the county commissioners invite all veterans to attend a job and wellness fair at the Senior Wellness Center located at 876 East Main Street in Bridgewater. Information will be available about career and veteran uh, resources and health services. At the September 24th Township Committee meeting, there were several proclamations. Let's take a look and see who's being honored this week. Now, therefore, be proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, do hereby recognize all the above and declare October 2024 as breast, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We urge all women and their families to increase their knowledge about breast cancer and join us in celebrating successes and memorializing uh, lost battles. Thank you for being here. Would you, uh, would you now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, do hereby declare October as National Down Syndrome Acceptance Month, and we ask all citizens to join us in celebrating the abilities and accomplishments of those with Down Syndrome. Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and the Hillsborough Township Committee, call upon the residents to be mindful of all citizens, regardless of our differences <clears throat> in the pursuit and yours of life, liberty, and happiness. Just a reminder, you can see all these presentations on the Township's YouTube channel. Tune in to the Township YouTube channel to view the entire meeting and be sure to follow our social media accounts and subscribe to the Mayor's E-News for all other important information. Until next time, enjoy your Hillsborough experience around town.